Hello, and welcome to Your Journey Yoga. I'm Cheryl. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do a yoga flow, a journey today to help kind of let go of tension and tightness and just get the blood flowing through your head. Hopefully get some positive energy going. Um, have a water bottle handy if you like, a towel if you need to, a strap, a block, whatever you might need um, to help you along the way. Uh, some clothes that aren't too bindy, that aren't too loose, so you don't end up with your shirt over your head and down dog. That's always an adventure. Um, but just an open mind, an open heart. If this is your first time with me, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I hope that uh, your yoga practice is wonderful, and I hope you enjoy my rendition of. Uh, if you're coming back, thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, um, my honor, my privilege to be here for you guys. So in a seated position, it doesn't have to be cross-legged. You can have your legs extended out. You can open them up into a wide V. You can be cross-legged. You can be up on your knees. We're going to just sit up nice and tall. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to give those shoulders a nice big roll up and back. And then just let those, really? A nice big roll with those shoulders up and back. And let those shoulders slide down and away. Close your eyes. Turn your palms to face the sky. Drip the wrists over the knees. Bring your index finger to touch your thumb. We're going to focus on our breath. Full, big, deep breaths. As you inhale, open the fingers. Spread your fingers wide. Create some space through the palm. As you exhale, bring the middle finger to your thumb. As you inhale, spread the fingers wide. Open those palms. As you exhale, ring finger to the thumb. Inhale, open, spread the fingers wide. Exhale, pinky to the thumb. Inhale, open, spread those fingers wide. Feel that stretch across the palm, that energy created. And as you exhale, whatever finger feels natural to you, bring it to your thumb. Let the tension go in the neck, the shoulders. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw. Let the tension go in the hips and just feel that rhythm of the breath. We come to a cross-legged position if you're not already and turning the palms to face the shin. Let's take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale, hollow the tummy and chest, press your spine towards the back of the room, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky, seated cat and cow. Exhale and hollow. Inhale, arch the back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, make it big. Roll those shoulders back, and as you exhale, hollow. Inhale it up nice and tall, and let's walk those hands forward. Releasing the weight of the upper body down. Arms can extend out really, really long, or you can keep a soft bend in the arms. We're just going to relax the weight of the head and let that upper body melt. So depending upon what time of the day it is, how tight you are, you might notice that there's a little bit of resistance here. We're going to work to let that go. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands to the right. Reach out through those left fingertips as far as you can reach and press that left hip towards the floor. Taking that left arm up and over, open the tummy and chest, reach to the side of the room, turn your gaze to the sky. Now give a little push with that right hand, lift the left side of the rib cage, create space. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, circle the back of your waist as far as you can, and roll that left shoulder back. Now turn your gaze towards the floor, and tuck your chin towards that right collarbone. Feel that nice stretch down the left side of the neck. We circle that left arm back up and over. And as you exhale, release the tummy and chest back to your thigh. Reach out through those left fingertips. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through the center and relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands to the left. Reach to your right fingertips as far as you can reach. Right hip presses towards the floor. 
Just a nice long stretch in the hip, through the waist, through the rib cage. Taking that right arm up and over. Open the tummy and chest, reach to the side of the room, turn your gaze to the sky. Now give a little push with that left hand, lift the right side of the rib cage. And turn your gaze towards the floor. Tuck your chin towards that left collarbone, just a nice little stretch from the neck. How's your breath? Always checking in with that breath. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest back to your thigh. Release the weight of that right arm, the weight of the head. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through center. And fingertips reach out as far as you can reach. Now, noticing when we come back to center, maybe it feels a little bit better already. I hope so. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of the arms overhead as you hinge up tall. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Tap your fingertips to the floor. Inhale, back to center, arms travel overhead. Exhale, turn to the left. Tap the fingertips. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. One more time each direction. Tap the floor. Inhale and reach. So we're just moving at the pace of our breath. We're letting go of tension. Inhale, reach to the sky. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. And as you exhale, gently pull the chin towards the chest. Close the elbows around the ears. Just a nice long stretch all the way through the spine. Inhale, lift the head, open those elbows nice and wide. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Stretching through the ribs, the waist. Inhale it back up nice and tall. Exhale and lean to the right. You can close your eyes, you can have those eyes open. Inhale it back to center. And exhale once again, chin towards the chest, close the elbows around the ears. Inhale, lift the head, open those elbows nice and wide. Release your hands and let's come up onto all fours. To tabletop, hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. You're going to pretend like your torso is in the center of a barrel. And as you inhale, you're going to draw your belly towards the bottom of the barrel, keeping the core strong. And as you exhale, roll the rib cage to the right. Drawing a big circle along the inside of that barrel, hollowing out the tummy and the chest as we come towards the top over to the left of the barrel, isolating that rib cage all the way down back to the bottom of the barrel. Again, same direction. Core remains strong, isolating that rib cage just as best you can, rolling that circle along the inside of the barrel, over to the left, and once again down to the bottom of the barrel. Let's switch directions. Now take it to the left, hollow it out, roll it to the right, and all the way back down to the bottom. We've got one more that same direction. Isolating the rib cage, feeling the strength in the belly. Mind and body connection. It's pretty strong when we allow it to be. As your belly comes towards the bottom of the barrel, fold for just a moment. And then once again, realign. Nice flat back. Take a big breath in, extend right arm, left leg. Square your hips. Lengthen and reach through your fingertips, through your toes. Now lift out of that left shoulder and add a flex of that back foot. Spinal balance. We're solid, we're strong. Working every muscle. And release. Center your weight. Other side, inhale it up. Left arm, right leg. Square those hips. Now really reach through the toes and through the fingertips. Core strong, hips side by side. Add a flex of that right foot. Lift out of that right shoulder. And breathe. And release. Center your weight and sit it back to child's pose. Extend the arms out nice and long. Hips back towards your heels. In our child's pose, we catch our breath. We check in. Really nice stretch for the back, for the shoulders, for the arms, for those quadriceps. Wonderful to release tension in the hips and the lower back. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hand, shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. We come up to our downward facing dog. That inverted V. 
Relax the weight of your head. Give your head a little shake. Let go of that tension. And then just let it hang. We spread our fingers nice and wide, pressing through the palms of the hands to guide our weight back towards our feet. Allowing those heels to gently sink. Let's inhale it to high plank or high push-up position. Exhale back to down dog. And now as we transition between these two poses, inhaling back to high plank, we shouldn't need to move those hands or feet at all. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale back to high plank. Exhale to down dog. Now let's take it back to high plank and we're going to hold our high plank. Toes or knees? If you're on your knees, fabulous. If you're on your toes, bend your right knee and extend. Left knee and extend. So as we alternate bending knees, we work to keep our hips level side by side to keep those hips from dropping, staying strong through the core. And we just alternate bending knees. So asking a little bit more through the shoulders, definitely through the core. Strong, solid core. One more time, each side. Back to your plank and lift your hips to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. And just relax the weight of your upper body down. Let your head be heavy. Let your arms be heavy. Let your face be soft. Let's bring the hands to the elbows and hold on. And gently sway side to side. So we just work to let go of any negative energy, any resistance anywhere. Wherever you notice it, can you let it go? Let your mind be clear. Let go of expectations. Just let yourself enjoy the journey. Come back to center. Relax your arms and slowly roll it up. One vertebra stacking on top of the other. As we reach the top, we give those shoulders a big roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Do that shoulder roll one more time. Make it big. Bring the hands around behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Now this is one of those, if you have tight shoulders and you happen to have a strap or a towel handy, you can take a hold of that towel or strap in each hand. Roll those shoulders up and back. Extend those arms. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, begin to lift your arms as high as you can get them without leaning forward. So mindful of your posture. Core nice and strong. As you exhale, slowly bring the hands back down. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, arch it back, a little or a lot. Now it's still early, so don't push too, too far. Be kind. Reach your knuckles towards your heels. Inhale it back up. Release your hands, set your strap or towel aside, roll those shoulders up and back. We turn the palms to face the front. Tummies are tight, glutes are tight. This is our mountain pose, strong and solid. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Walk, step or hop to high plank. Crocodile down, toes or knees, elbows right by the ribs. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. We alternate bending knees, walk it out. Head is heavy. Soften your face. Just breathe. As you exhale, let both heels see. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through between the hands. Back heel to the floor, stand tall to warrior one. Hips, chest, and shoulders square to the front. Shoulders soft away from the ears. Back heel, back pinky toe, pressing into the mat. And we work to square those hips. Bring the palms to touch. Interlace all the fingers with the index finger and thumb. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, begin to hinge forward. Nice, long diagonal line down the back of your body. Gazing out in front of those right toes. Find your breath. Slow, steady breath. Inhale, we rise. And as you exhale, arch it back a little or a lot. 
Again, those hips remain side by side. That left hip wants to pull back. Inhale it up tall. Flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, one push up. Again. One more. Lift your hips to down dog. And gently sway your hips side to side. So we add in those push ups. A lot of times we don't get much upper body strength in our yoga, unless you're working on arm balances and that stuff. But it's really important to get strong upper body and lower body. Those core muscles and those push ups, I tell you, they're amazing. Coming back to center. Shift your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the floor, stand tall to warrior one. Square the hips. Press that back heel, that outside edge of your foot. Press it into the mat and then work to draw that right hip forward. Core strong, shoulders soft. Breathe. Inhale, bring the palms to touch. Interlace all the fingers with, in, uh, with the index finger and thumb. And then slowly begin to hinge forward. Gaze out in front of those left toes. Head just in line, right between those arms. How far can you reach? How about that back heel? Can you press it into the mat? Inhale, rise. And as you exhale, arch it back. Be mindful that right hip doesn't pull back. Taking care of yourself. Find that breath. Inhale it back up tall. Flow forward. Hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips. Sweep it back. Extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down. To down dog. Inhaling to high plank. Let's just take it halfway down and hold. So we can be on our toes or our knees. But we're halfway between our full plank and our full crocodile. And we're just holding. We're rolling those shoulders back. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. We are strong through our belly. Let's take it low. Your lowest crocodile. Shoulders no lower than the elbows. And breathe. Halfway back up. Hold. And rise. Lift your hips. To down dog. In that down dog, let your head be heavy. Let your heels sink. Feel that stretch to the backs of the legs. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back knee to the mat if you like, otherwise knee is off. We lift those arms. Coming up to a crescent lunge. Shoulders are soft. If that back knee is down, let the top of your foot also be on the mat. Our hips are heavy, so we get that stretch to the front of that left leg. If the knee's off, give it a little push through that back heel. Take a big breath in, reach, and as you exhale, turn towards that right leg. Open the arms out to a T. Inhale, back to center, turn back to face front. Exhale, rotate it open. Back to a T, same direction. Inhale, back to center. Arms overhead, let's do that one more time. This time we're gonna hold that rotation. We turn our palms to the side of the room. Spread your fingers and reach as far as you can reach. Press through that back heel and breathe. Inhale, back to face front. Exhale, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Optional push up if you like. To down dog. Nice big deep breath. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee to the floor if you like, otherwise knee is off. Arms come overhead. We find that crescent lunge once again. Again, if that back knee is down, 
Let the top of the foot be on the mat as well. Let that stretch happen through the front of that right leg. If the knee's off, give a little push through that back heel. Inhale, reach, and exhale, rotate towards that left leg. Open the arms out to a T. Inhale, back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, same direction, rotate. Challenging balance. Working spinal flexibility, inhale it back to center. One more time, exhale, rotate. Hold that rotation, turn your palms to the side of the room, spread your fingers and reach. As far as you can reach in opposition, press through that back heel. Challenging balance. Endurance, inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. Exhale, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog, wonderful time to grab a drink if you like. Or inhale for a strength challenge to high plank. Core strong. Breathe. Let's go slow and melt. Hug those elbows right by your ribs. Shoulders roll back, neck long. Core strong. At your lowest point, pause and rise, super slow. Take your time, work for it. Working against gravity in both directions. It's awesome. Lift your hips to down dog. And gently sway your hips side to side. Nice, big, deep breaths. We come back to center. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one by up. And as you exhale, take a giant step back towards the back of your mat. Open your arms out to a T. Rotate palms to the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky. Sunflowers, exhale, run, plie. Hands sweep towards the floor, chest stays tall. Inhale, reach. Squeeze your buttons. Exhale, run, plie. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one more. Hold low, stay low. Extend the arms out to a T. Turn the palms to the sky. Shoulders are soft. Arms extended. Knees are rolled back. Breathe. Bend the elbows, bend the wrists to 90 degrees, sun god. Find your breath, close your eyes if you like. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, extend arms, extend legs, and sink. Do that one more time, press it up. Sink it low. Extend the arms back out to the teeth. Extend the legs, hinge it forward all the way over, and release the weight of the upper body down. Arms are heavy, head is heavy, face is soft. Just let that upper body be heavy. Find your breath. Bring the hands to the outsides of the ankles if that feels okay to you. And then use the strength of the arms to start to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. Now, if the crown of your head comes to the floor before you'd like it to, heel till your feet in once or twice so that you have a little more height, a little more room to play. And we're going to use the strength of those arms to pull that upper body in. A little shift of our weight forward into our toes, just deepening the stretch through the backs of the legs. Wonderful release for that lower back. Inhale, release the arms, relax them, let them hang down. Let that head be heavy. Now let's heel toe those feet in once or twice if you haven't already. Take a big breath in and slowly begin to bend the knees. Lifting through the crown of the head, lengthening through the spine, we come into frog pose. So as the bottom comes no lower than the knees, our back is flat, our core is strong. We get this nice stretch through the hips, through the groin, 
As you exhale, extend the legs. Let your head be heavy and come back towards the floor. Let's do that one more time. Shift the weight into your heels. Bend those knees, slowly lowering your bottom. Down to knee height or higher, but no lower than your knees. Core is strong. Shoulders are rolled back. Is your back nice and flat? Frog pose. As you exhale, extend the legs. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, and let's walk our hands to the left. Now we're going to reach out with the right hand as far as we can reach and draw your nose towards that left knee. Just a nice long stretch all the way down the right side of your body. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center, and then over to the right. And then we're going to reach to those left fingertips as far as we can reach and draw your nose towards that right knee. So just feel all of the different parts of your body. What's talking to you? What needs that extra bit of love today? Inhale, lift just slightly, walk those hands back to center. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Now if you're taking care of your lower back today, you're gonna to place your hands just above your knees, bend your knees and begin to roll it up. If the back feels amazing, extend those arms out to a T, core strong, lengthen through the crown of the head, and let's slowly hinge it up. We come all the way up. Relax the arms. Good, give yourself just a second. We turn the toes towards the top of the mat. Giant step forward to mount. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Walk, step, or hop to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. Optional push up if you like. To down dog. Find your breath. Shift your weight to your left foot. Right toes to the sky. Exhale and sweep that right foot through. Back heel to the floor. Windmill your arms up to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders are open to the side. We gaze out over our front middle finger. Our arms are extended out nice and long. And that extension goes from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. Exhale and sink. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that right thigh, hold on to it. If you can't quite find it, just tuck your arm as tightly against the back of your waist as you can. Front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse warrior. Reaching out through those right fingertips. Long stretch to the ribs and the waist. Turn your gaze towards your back heel. Tuck your chin towards that left collarbone. Just letting go of tension in the neck. Keeping that left arm tucked tight, inhale it back up. Right arm extends out to shoulder height. Back of the right arm along the inside of that right leg, we turn our gaze up over that left shoulder, rolling that left shoulder up and back. A variation of bound angle. We release that left arm, circling it up and over, reaching out to find where the wall and ceiling meets. Extended side angle and inhale it back up to warrior two. Straightening your front leg, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle. That left hand just being a guide down that back leg, right fingertips reaching. Strong. Inhaling it back up. Windmilling that left arm up, and over, placing that left hand along the inside of your right foot, rotate your butt and extend. Right arm to the sky. Find your breath. Where does your gaze need to be for your neck to be happy? We can be looking down towards the right big toe. We can be looking straight out or up to find the base of the thumb. Find your breath. As you exhale, slow release of that right hand down. One hand on either side of the foot, front knee bends, back heel comes off the floor. A runner's lunge. Find your breath. 
You can stay right here or bring both hands to the inside of your foot. We're gonna work our way down to lizard pose. So you can stay right here. You can bring that back knee down if you like. Or we can keep on those toes, coming down onto the right forearm if that, I'm sorry, the left forearm if that feels right. Maybe the right forearm. Relax the weight of your head. Find your breath. Quiet it down. We come back up to the palms of the hands. One hand on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Another great opportunity to grab a drink of water to take a break, take care of yourself. Or another strength challenge if you like, we inhale it to high plank. We're gonna take that right hand up and out in a diagonal line. One push up, pull it in. Left hand up and out in a diagonal line. One push up, pull it in. Right hand up and out, push up, pull it in. Left hand up and out, push up, pull it in. Lift your hips to down dog. Meeting back in our down dog whenever you're ready. Nice, big, full, deep breath. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the floor, windmill your arms up to warrior two. So once again, as we come into our warrior two, our arms are extended and that extension goes from fingertip to fingertip. Sometimes those hands can get lazy. We want to extend and reach. That's going to help activate even more muscles throughout the arms, the shoulders, the back. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. Exhale and sink. Breathe. Circle that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that left thigh, hold on to it. Again, can't quite find it, just tuck it tight. Front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse warrior. Reaching out through those left fingertips. Let's turn our gaze towards our back heel and tuck our chin towards that right collarbone. Find your breath. So we're letting go of tension in the neck. Strong through the core, strong through those legs, reaching through those left fingertips. Keeping that right arm tucked tightly, inhale it back up. Left arm extends out to shoulder height. Back of the left arm along the inside of that left leg, we turn our gaze up over that right shoulder. Rolling that right shoulder back. Breathe. Find your breath. That variation of down angle. Releasing the right arm, circling it up and over to find where the wall and ceiling meet. Long diagonal line, all the way down the right side of your body. And inhale it back up to warrior two. Straightening your front leg. Back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle. Reaching out through those left fingertips, sliding down that back leg with the right. And inhale it back up, windmill in that right arm up and over. Placing your hand along the inside of that left foot, rotating your body, left arm to the sky. Where does your gaze need to be? Down towards your toes, straight out to the side, or maybe look up and find the base of that thumb. Reaching and lengthening out through the fingertips. Find your breath. As you exhale, slowly release that hand down. Bending the front knee, back heel comes off the floor into a runner's lunge. Now again, you are welcome to stay right here. We just want to focus on what we need, what our body responds the best to. You can bring that back knee down, top of the foot to the floor. You can stay up on the ball of the foot. We bring both hands to the inside of the foot. Working our way down the lizard pose, if that's right for you today. We can maybe come down onto our right forearm. 
maybe the left. Relaxing through the head. Just let your head be heavy. Find your breath. Soften your face. Come back up to the palms of the hands. One hand on either side of the foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down. Holding your down dog or grabbing a drink of water. Or inhale it to high plank. Two half flows here. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. One more of those if you like. Inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Meaning back in down dog when you're ready. Inhaling to high plank. Super slow from the toes of the knees. Let's crocodile down. Take your time, make it last. Come all the way down onto your tummies. Tuck to the feet to the mat, hands right by your chest, chin to the mat. So we're not looking forward straight ahead, but we're resting our face kind of towards the mat, but letting that chin kind of be just the resting place. Find your breath. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, begin to lift just the upper body. Buns remain soft. Tops of the feet remain on the floor. Shoulders are rolled back and we're gazing towards the top center of the mat. This is Cobra. As you exhale, slowly release it down. Take a big breath in. Once again, as you exhale, we begin to lift. This time, if you like, we can begin to extend those arms a little or a lot, so there's a lot of gray area. Now we can look forward, straight ahead, keeping that neck in alignment, or we can begin to gaze to the sky. Rolling those shoulders back. Breathe, King Cobra. If you like, bend that right knee, draw your toes towards the back of the head. Bend that left knee, toes towards the back of the head. Now some of you might be able to touch the back of your head with your toes. Pretty cool. Gently release one leg and then the other, and then slowly bring it back down. Again, that's what makes it our journey, right? Turning your face, cheek to the mat. Just relax. Now let's release those arms, placing those hands back to the hands to the floor. Let your shoulders be heavy, let your arms be heavy. Just a nice stretch to the neck, helping to let go of tension. We're gonna inhale and lift, switching sides. Now the opposite cheek to the mat. And just relax. Your whole body. Inhale, lift the head, bring it back to the chin. Bring the hands back towards the shoulders and press it back to child's pose. Nice, big, deep breaths. We inhale, lifting just slightly, walking the hands to the right. Reach to your left fingertips and press your hips to the left. Relax the weight of your upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center. And then over to the left, reaching through your right fingertips. Press your hips to the right and relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift, walk it back through the center. Back to child's pose, just a good couple good breaths here. And let's slowly walk the hands up. Coming up to tabletop. Now you can walk or you can hop the feet up to a little bit of a a V position with those feet. Feet are wide, a little bit wider than the hips. 
Core is strong. That frog pose that we came to earlier, we're gonna slowly bend the knees. You can adjust your feet however you need to. If you need to not widen them or narrow them. This time though, we're gonna let the bottom come down. We're gonna lift the chest and pull the hands to heart center. Now, if you are taking special care of your knees, yeah, probably not the very best place for you to be. Shoulders are rolled back, so I'd like you to visualize that there's a wall behind you. And we're working to get our back right up against that wall. And to get our bottom, not pushing out so, so much, but drawn in and through. Breathe. Now this is a work in progress. So no judgment, no criticism. Shoulders are rolled back. There's a little bit of an intensity through the upper and middle back. So those shoulder blades are squeezed. Release your hands. Extend the legs. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands forward. Not a huge amount, but kind of halfway um, between a forward fold and a downward facing dog. Now we're gonna press the tummy and chest towards that space between the legs. So as we walk those hands out, there's this wonderful stretch that happens to the sides of the body. We lift our sit bones towards the sky. We draw that belly button towards the space between your legs. How's your breath? This is hammock pose. So visualize your fingertips are attached to one tree, your sit bones to the opposite tree. And there's this wonderful little hammock, that arc, that arch in the back. Inhale, lift the spine just enough to release those hands back. Breathe. Once again, lower your bottom. Walk the hands out. Walk the feet out to plank. Release your knees. Sit in back to child's pose. Nice big deep breath. Now if you need a little extra time in child's pose, take what you need. As you're ready, walk your hands up. And let's come over into one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down to the top of your mat. Extending the legs out nice and long, flex your feet, sit up nice and tall, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward, tummy down, chest down, hands, and relax the weight of your head. Forward fold. Length for those hamstrings, the calves, the Achilles. Release for that lower back. For the neck. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet. Close your eyes and slowly roll it back. Take your time. See if you can't connect one vertebra to the floor at a time. And relax. Pulling the soles of the feet together, drawing those heels up towards your bottom, knees open out nice and wide. Recline butterfly. Arms can remain out to a T. You can rest your hands on your hips or your tummy. We just want to find some place that feels right. Some place that feels good. Now slowly begin to close those knees. Soles of the feet come to the floor. Feet are hip-width apart. Hands come down by your sides. Palms to the floor. Let's tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat. And we're going to begin to press through our heels as we lift our hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the floor. One vertebra at a time. So we come up to bridge pose. At the top of bridge pose, knees are right in line with the hips. Core is strong, squeeze your buttons. Bring the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and work to extend those arms out behind you. If we can't quite get those arms fully extended, we're gonna stay here working on that. If the arms are extended and you wish to move on, rolling one shoulder underneath you at a time to help stack those shoulders underneath us, to open up that chest just a little bit more. Now press through those heels and lift those hips just as high as you can get up. Once again, those knees remain in line with the hips. Find your breath. Watching the rise and fall of your tummy with each breath you take. Now slowly, slowly release the hands. Unroll one shoulder. 
and then the other. Slowly releasing back down one vertebra at a time. Realigning. So your bottom is the very last. The touch. Drawing one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Hands to the shins just below your knees. Rock side to side. We come back to center, keeping that right knee tucked in, extend your left leg out and down. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your legs across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor as best you can. Turn your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes. Just enjoy. This final stretch, letting go of tension. Releasing that left hand slowly, we roll it back to center. Extending right leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip. Reach out through the toes and slowly lower your leg. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor as best you can. Turn your gaze out over that left arm. And close your eyes. Releasing that right hand, rolling back to center. Extending left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through your hip. Reach out through the toes and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Arms come down by your sides, turn your palms up into the sky, or you're welcome to rest your hands on your tummy. Find a comfortable place to relax and to breathe. Now if this is where you check out, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day. Hopefully give yourself some time before you go to bed to relax and to breathe. If you choose to stick around and stay for Shavasana, find a comfortable place. Let all attention go. Find an awareness in your breath. Quiet your mind. Find the beat of our heart. A wonderful rhythmic beat of the heart. Stay connected to it. Let go of everything else. Allow yourself an opportunity to just Stretch the limbs, feeling the earth below us, the world around us, the lightness in our heart, the clarity of our mind. As you're ready, gently draw your knees in towards your chest and roll to one side. 
taking the time you need whenever you're ready. Use the strength of your arms to help you come back up to a seated position that feels right to you. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Rest your hands comfortably. Nice, big, deep breaths. And as we bring our practice to a close today, my friends, I wish you nothing but the very best. May you be well. May your health be good. May you stay strong. May your mind, your heart, stay open. I wish you the very best. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Gently opening your eyes. Take a big breath and reach to the sky. And exhale, bring the thumbs to heart center. Namaste.